Tonight, ongoing unemployment fraud was at the center of a committee hearing at the Rhode Island State House. The Senate Oversight Committee hearing from the Director of the Department of Labor and Training about the roughly $23 million in fraudulent claims paid out since the pandemic began. 12 News reporter Kim Kalunin listened in on the meeting and joins us now with the latest. Kim. Well, three of the senators on that committee said they themselves were victims of unemployment fraud. It's an issue we've been reporting on since last spring, and the DLT says it's not going away, but they argue they have a much better handle on it. You know, we're seeing enormous claim levels right now, and a lot of those claims are fraud, and we're stopping them. Rhode Island DLT Director Scott Jensen before the Senate Oversight Committee on Monday outlining how his agency has responded to a whopping $23 million in fraudulent unemployment claims that began to pour in in April. To be very honest about it, um, we had a fraud unit and we uh, asked those people to do other duties um, because uh, the kinds of fraud uh, we were seeing was far more complicated before the pandemic, fraud levels stood around 1%, and that ratio remained steady during the pandemic, but the volume of claims ballooned. The record week that Rhode Island has had for unemployment insurance claims was at the beginning of the uh, banking crisis back in the 90s, and we had 5,300 claims in a week, and people thought the sky was falling. Um, we had 40,000 claims one day. Um, uh, we beat that weekly record for uh, uh, in, in, a, in a day, every day, for like two months. The DLT is now automating the fraud detection process. Jensen says they've recovered about three and a half million of the fraudulent payouts by working with banks and plan to file a multi-million dollar insurance claim in the coming months. Despite the rampant fraud, Jensen said the state's trust fund is still relatively robust. Uh, we haven't had to borrow from the federal government in order to pay benefits. And that means that Rhode Island employers aren't going to have to pay back a loan with interest. And right now on WPRI.com, we have a lot of resources, including how you can report fraud and what to do if you get a 1099 in the mail for benefits you never received. In the studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.